Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today is, it is lecture number 118. It is about zakat, its spiritual, moral, and social impact. This question has been asked in CSS 2018 as write a comprehensive note on the God system of Islam and its spiritual, moral, and social impacts. You may combine, while answering this question, you may combine all the, uh, all the spiritual, moral, and uh, social impact without specifying them. But it is also recommended that you may specify each uh, in the different headings as spiritual impact, moral impact, and social impact. It is your choice. In CSS 2017, this question has been asked as such. Who are entitled to receive the zakat according to the Quran? Elucidating social impact of zakat, clarify how can poverty be alleviated? with its distribution in Islamic society. Uh, though these questions have been asked in previous papers, yet there are other angles to see this question. The question may be asked about role of zakat in circulation of money. And uh, this the question may be asked that despite the zakat system, why the Muslim world is so poverty stricken. You may uh, you may uh, you, you may be asked to analyze this uh, aspect. Now, what is the literal meaning of zakat? Literal meaning of zakat is to purify, to cleanse, to increase, and to grow. What is the sabi zakat? A rich Muslim pays two point five percent of his or her total wealth accumulated for one year. <coughs> if his wealth exceeds the amount equivalent to the price of uh, 7.5 dollars of gold or 52.5 dollars of silver, or he has at least five camels or 30 cows or 40 goats. So this is the Nisab of Zakat. Is this payment is paid to the poor, uh, is made to the poor and deserving for the Paliyar of Almighty. This payment is not uh, made for any worldly or physical, for any return, for any other consideration. The only consideration is the Paliyar of Allah Almighty. This is something special about uh, this Zakat system. It is without any expectation from the poor. Now, whom is the God to be paid? This question, as I have already told, that has been asked in the previous paper as well. The God expenditures are only for the poor and for the needy and for those employed for it and for bringing hearts together for Islam and for freeing captives or slaves, and for those in debt, and for the cause of Allah, and for the stranded tra traveler, an obligation imposed by Allah, and Allah is all-knowing and wise. This is Ayat 60, verse number 60 of Surah Toba, which is 9th Surah of Holy Quran. So according to this uh, Surah Toba, Number uh, Surah number nine, verse number sixty. The name of Surah is Surah Toba. The God is to be paid to the Fukra, meaning they are by poor, Masakin means needy, Amilin. The persons who have been employed for collecting the God, salaries are to be paid to them from the fund of the God, and those who whose hearts have been reconciled to truth. The recent, the new converts to Islam may be added in this category. Those in bondage, those in debt, in the way of Allah and traveler, uh, who need some money to uh, 
reach his destination. Now, according to this surah, there are certain persons who are out of the eligibility criteria of, to receive zakat. The rich persons having higher wealth than Nisab are not eligible to receive zakat. Non-Muslims are not eligible to receive zakat. And the relatives, uh, normally the close relatives. Surah Al-Baqarah. Now, now we are going to throw light on the zakat system uh, in the light of uh, or from the is verses of Holy Quran and then Ahadith. So in, now in the light of Holy Quran and Hadith, uh, we would like to explore the instructions regarding uh, Zakat. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 3, who believe in the unseen, establish prayer and donate from what we have provided for them. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 43, establish prayer, pay the God and bow down with those who bow down. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 83, and remember when we took a covenant from the children of Israel, stating worship non but Allah, be kind to parents, relatives, orphans, and the needy, and speak kindly to people, establish prayer and pay the God, but you Israelites, Israelites, turned away except for a few of you and were indifferent. Now, this uh, verse is very much comprehensive. We may quote this verse for uh, the significance of prayer. We may quote it while uh, uh, saying something about Tuhid, worship none but Allah. We may quote it about when we are talking about the rights of parents, relatives, orphans, and the needy. So, this verse is very much comprehensive. Generally, the instructions regarding payment of zakat and offering of prayer uh, have been clubbed together by Holy Quran. The same verse contains the instructions about offering prayer and paying zakat. So you may use these verses uh, in both the questions when it is asked about uh, offering of holy uh, offering of prayers and when it is asked about payment of zakat. The same verses may be used for both the questions. Generally, in paper, when uh, in the thesis paper, uh, normally one question is asked from, uh, maybe asked from this uh, Islamic Pashe portion. So, if any question, if the question is asked from the Zakat portion, you may quote the same ayah. And in in uh, if the question is asked about prayer, you may quote again the same verse in which there was the, the uh, there is a mention of establish establishing prayer and pay the card like this one surah al-baqarah verse number 110 establish prayer and pay the card whatever you go to send forth for yourself you will certainly find its reward with allah surely allah is all seeing of what you do now again in this prayer you see that uh, instruction regarding establishing prayer and paying zakat have been mentioned in the same verse. So, the same verse may be quoted to answer both the questions regarding the prayer and zakat. Surah Maryam, verse number 55, he used to urge his uh, people to pray and give zakat and his Lord was, was well pleased with him. It was said about Hazrat Ismail radiallahu ta'ala an ho, Surah Maryam, verse number 31, He has made me a blessing. Wherever I go, I invite me to establish prayer and give the kaat as long as I live. This context is regarding Hazrat uh, Jesus, Radiyala Ta'ala Anho. Surah Al-Maida, verse number 12, Allah made a covenant with the children of Israel and appointed 12 leaders from among them and then said, I am truly with you. If you establish prayer, pay the card, believe in my messenger, support them and lend to Allah a good loan. I will certainly forgive your sins and admit you into the gardens under which rivers flow. Now the loans which have been mentioned in, in this surah is about uh, giving some, some money or some uh, belonging in the, in the way of Allah. Uh, to the poor and to the deserving and for the welfare of the community. 
and you will find it with Allah. Its reward is given by Allah. This is the meaning of this uh, sentence. Surah Al-Anbiya, verse number 73, and we made them into leaders to guide people in accordance with our command, and we inspired them to do good deeds, and to establish prayer, and to give zakat. They worshipped us alone. Surah at tawbah verse number 34, of believers, indeed many rabbis, rabbis and monks consume people's wealth wrongfully and hinder others from the way of Allah. Give good news of a painful torment to those who have hold gold and silver and do not spend it in Allah's cause. So this ayah may be quoted while the attempting the question of zakat and this may be quoted regarding uh, when we when we talk about discouraging hoarding. So this this ayah discourages uh, hoarding as well, hoarding and collection of money and not spending in it in the way of Allah. Surah Tawbah, verse number, nine, verse, number, verse number 35, the day will come and their tree will be heated up in the fire of hell and their forehead, sides and backs branded with it. It will be said to them, this is the tree you hold for yourself. Now taste what you have hoarded. This is again an ayah which discourages the, the act of hoarding. Obviously, the act of hoarding is very uh, negative for the society as it uh, artificially blocks the supply of any commodities to the market. And when the hoarding takes place and the supply of essential commodities is uh, stopped to the markets, then it creates uh, inflation and uh, a kind of crisis. Now there are certain hadiths ahadis regarding payment of zakat. Holy Prophet said, I have been ordered to take zakat from the rich and distribute, distribute among the poor. Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, instructed the newly appointed governor of Yemen, Hazrat Muaz bin Jabal, to invite the people of Yemen regarding certain acts which were stand witness that only Allah is worthy of worship and I am his messenger. Second act was fire and prayer daily and zakat. So this is the exact uh, uh, hadith. Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 13 and 5. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet wasalam, sent Moaz to Yemen and said, invite the people to testify that none has the right to be worshipped. But Allah and I am Allah's apostle. And if they obey you to do so, then teach them what Allah has enjoined on them, five prayers in every day and night and 24 hours. And if they obey you to do so, then teach them that Allah has made it obligatory for them to pay the zakat from their property. And it is to be taken from the wealthy among them and given to the poor. Narrated Abu, Abu Ayyub, a man said to the Prophet, tell, Prophet wasalam, tell me, of such a deed as will make me interpretize the people said what is the matter, matter with him what is the matter with him the prophet said he has something to ask what what he needs greatly the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in order to interpret uh, said in order to enter paradise you should worship allah and don't ascribe any partner to him offer prayer Perfectly pay the zakat and keep good relation with your kith and kin. So this is also about prayer. This is also about zakat. This is also about keeping good relationships with your kith and kin. Now, hadith number 1400 and Sahih Bukhari, Abu Bakr said, By Allah, I will fight those who differentiate between the prayer and the zakat. As, as zakat is the compulsory right to be taken from the property. By Allah, if they refuse to pay me even a she kid, which they used to pay at the time of Allah's apostle, I would fight with them for withholding it. Then Umar said, By Allah, it was nothing but Allah opened Abu Bakr's chest towards the decision to fight, and I, I came to know what is uh, that his decision was right. Sayyid Bukhari, Hadith number 8, narrated Ibn Umar, Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, Islam is based on 
five principles to testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's messenger. To offer the compulsory congregational prayers dutifully and perfectly, to pay zakat, to perform hajj, to observe fast during the month of Ramadan. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 57, Jarir bin Abdullah, I gave the pledge of allegiance to Allah's apostle for the following, offer prayers perfectly, pay the zakat and be sincere and true to every Muslim. Now coming to another aspect of this question, that whether zakat is a kind of tax or not. Zakat is not a tax. It's a faith and belief that Allah will reward more to the person who pays zakat. While payment of tax is with the, 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 with the expectation from the state that it will provide more services. It is an Islamic worship, while tax is not a, a kind of an act of worship. Zakat is a second obligation imposed by Allah Almighty. Tax system is not an obligation imposed by Allah Almighty. Rather, it is enforced by the state. Tax is collected in return for the services provided by the state. While zakat is not in consideration for any other return, for any uh, zakat is not in the expectation of any other consideration. There is a concept of nisab in zakat, and there is no such uh, concept of nisab in tax. Zakat is due to the Muslims only, and tax is to be paid by all the uh, Muslims and non-Muslims who qualify that criteria and the, the tax limit. A rate for zakat is 2.5% in case in case of zakat. And tax is also imposed upon the poor in the form of indirect taxes. While zakat is not imposed upon the persons who, yeah, who possess the wealth below the value of nisab. Now coming to the spiritual impact of uh, Zakat, it promotes sacrifice when you are paying from your hard earned money to the poor. That then obviously it is going to promote sacrifice. It kills greed in uh, in human beings. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that greed is the curse that is behind all the crime, that is behind all the bad deeds. So zakat is the act or worship that kills greed in human being. Another spiritual impact of uh, zakat is that if a person pays zakat, he complies with Allah's directions and it is uh, an act through which a person pays gratitude to Almighty. It purifies his wealth and it brings contentment to his heart. Now coming to moral impact of zakat, it ensures economic and economic justice and fairness. It creates feeling of compassion among the believer. It eradicates uh, the miser nature and parsimony. It uh, lowers his uh, love for uh, wealth and uh, creates. Uh, a kind of generates uh, uh, and creates generosity in the heart of the believer who pays zakat. It also encourages sense of responsibility towards the poor. It creates humility among the believers because he thinks because the believer thinks that his that their wealth is just because of Allah's blessing upon them, and it also encourages kind heartedness. Now, coming to social impact of the zakat system, it ensures equitable distribution of wealth, circulation of money is made. And this is a kind of concept of negative tax. Negative tax means uh, giving, collecting tax from the rich and paying it to the poor. This is kind of negative tax. Positive tax means the tax is to be paid by the persons by the rich persons to the state, and then when state distributes it among the poor, it is called negative tax. It helps the poor, it increases 
in investment opportunities obviously when you pay the god then the, you uh, then a person thinks that his wealth is uh, uh, wealth may decrease so in order to increase it, his uh, wealth he uh, may join some other business activities and may may do another kind of investment Another social impact of uh, zakat is it integrates poor in society and it also discourages hoarding. Now coming to the very fine concept of uh, role of zakat and circulation of money. When the money, because the zakat is to be paid upon the savings, the persons, the amount which you have in your possession, when you have savings, it's a kind of dead money. And when you pay zakat is 22.5% upon these savings, then it is called zakat. Zakat is given to the poor. Now, in this uh, way, dead money is made alive and uh, the money which is out of circulation cycle is again brought into that circulation and in this way, money is circulated. Now, another question which, is, which may be asked that why the Muslim world is poor despite the system of zakat because we claim that uh, zakat uh, alleviates poverty. Then why the poverty in the Muslim world has not been elevated yet despite that Islam has that system? Now, answering this question, there are certain outlines which I, I, which I have mentioned in this uh, slide that there are multiple factors behind poverty in the Muslim world. There are geopolitical tensions because the Muslim lands have become battlefields or proxy wars. There is bad governance. There is governance crisis in the Muslim world. The Muslim world is backward in the field of science and technology. And the curse of sectarianism is haunting the Muslim world again because the uh, cool war between kind of cool war and conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran are, are uh, significant in this regard. There are conflicts in the Muslim world. So all these uh, factors bring poverty in the Muslim world. Now how to uh, how this poverty be elevated now, in addition to the zakat system, a comprehensive approach is needed to deal with the poverty in the Muslim world. Only zakat, zakat may be one part of strategy that would be adopted to deal with poverty, but it is as a matter of holistic approach. These states in the uh, the Muslim states need to adopt comprehensive and holistic approaches to deal with poverty and and uh, zakat is just one tool which may be made part of that holistic and comprehensive approach now there are other certain inadequacies in the zakat collection and distribution system the people who pay zakat generally they don't have trust in the governments and the uh, government officials because they think that their hard-earned money which they would be paying in the form of zakat would be usurped and would be misused by the by the corrupt government officials. The second reason is that there is a governance crisis in the Muslim world and. Uh, Lack of trust, obviously, among the rich Muslims who pay the cost. So generally, they do it on their own and there is no kind of encouragement from the states and the rulers given to the people that you should pay the cost. So generally, most of the Muslim world lacks any robust system for the cost collection and uh, distribution. Or, and generally, the cause is left to the will of the wealthy Muslims. Now, if we are to say that Muslim world is poor, we should have some data. Now, why we say that Muslim world is poor? So, I have collected some, collected some data 
According to a conference paper titled International Conference of Islamic Economy, Finance and Ethics authored by Syed Hassan and Seema Yilmaz. And this uh, conference paper was published in December 2019. It says that Muslims are 20% of the global population, which is approximately 7 billion people. 600 million people across the globe live in extreme poverty. Extreme poverty has been defined under the United Nations definition of multidimensional poverty to include hunger, inaccessibility to health care. This word inaccessibility may be corrected here as I N A double C E double S I B I L I T Y. Inaccessibility to health care, shelter, and other most basic human needs for survival. 50% of the world's poorest people live in the Islamic world. Every one in five Muslims live in extreme poverty. The Muslim countries hold 70% of the world's natural resources, and that include oil, natural gas, gold, copper. Most of the Islamic countries have agriculture as part of their economic outputs. Countries like Turkey, Pakistan, Iran, Indonesia, Malaysia, Bangladesh produce large quantities of food staples that are exported around the world. The OIC Organization of Islamic Conference, OIC has 53 Muslim majority countries and its member out of its total membership of 57, while 25 members of OIC from Sub-Saharan Africa are amongst the most poverty-stricken countries in the world. So this is data about the poverty in the Muslim world. And you may build your thesis upon this uh, data that uh, Muslim world is poor and why the Muslim world is poor and what could be done. Now, so this question has already been addressed. Now, the question may be asked that how the zakat system may be reformed by the governments. The system, here the zakat system means the system of collection and, and uh, enforcement. Obviously, the inherent system of the cause has been given by Almighty, but we are talking here about the system of collection and uh, uh, enforcement. Now, people are fed up with the corrupt practices, practices in the government departments. First of all, the government should work on corruption elimination strategies and strict accountability measures be adopted. Lack of trust in the uh, government officials, transparent of system of payment of zakat may be made. Honest officials may be given the task of uh, uh, collecting and uh, distributing the zakat money. Other problem is that there is no data of the person eligible to pay zakat is available with the government. And also there is no data of the persons eligible to receive zakat is maintained by the government. Now there is need for an app through which any person eligible to pay zakat may transfer the zakat online to any deserving person, easy pesa or bank account. So on the basis of data of the persons who are eligible to pay zakat or you may say that the persons having the wealth above the, above the SAP level their data should be maintained and the data of the persons who are uh, who deserve who, who deserve to receive zakat their data should also be maintained and now on the basis of this data this app can be made by the governments through which uh, the wealthy person may uh, pay zakat to may distribute zakat among the among the poor persons uh, online without any uh, hassle in this regard. Now, other reform that may be brought is about the awareness regarding the concept of zakat and among the uh, concept of zakat among the people. Here is the role of the religious leaders is important and role of media is very much important. The Quranic verses should be made part of and the ahadis regarding zakat should be made part of that awareness campaign. Thank you all. Hope this lecture uh, would be helpful to you. 
now in next lecture we will be discussing uh, the impact of uh, the spiritual moral and so uh, moral and social impact of fasting thank you all